Hey, this is Nyakon. Welcome to OB Studios. In today's video, we're going to look at how to build this Cybertruck web page. It's a fairly simple look. Things are pretty laid out simply without much to do or much to say. So yeah, let's look at how we are going to achieve this design um, using Breakdance. All right, so this is my back end of WordPress. I've already installed um, Breakdance, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, if you want to know how to set up your, your Breakdance website using WordPress, you can watch. I think I'm gonna leave a link down below for you to go through the whole setup, but I'm not gonna do that today. We are gonna get into building this. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so a page, um, Cybertruck, edit, Breakdance. All right. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create this um, hero section. Let me open develop pest panel. Uh, let me close this a little. Yeah. All right. This is good. 19. Let's do 1920. Right. All right. So this, uh, this looks good. The okay, first hero section. Let's add our first section, which is this. Um, I'm going to remove the, the space all around it. It's the first step to do. And then inside, what do we have? Okay, we have this image. Um, we have this also image. We have a text and then we have, all right, this blinking button over here. All right, so first let's add our background image. So make sure your second is selected. And then background image media. There's our image. All right, that, that is cool. All right. Um, next thing to do, let's fix the side. We want this to be custom VH height 100 VH. That is good. And then we also want to make sure that we can leave the width as it is. We don't really have to touch that yet. All right, so inside we can see we have one, two, three, um, and both of them are separated like that. So what I am going to do is to have a div inside here that is going to contain the these things, and then another div is going to hold also this. All right, so let's say div, and then let's add an image element. All right, so that's the image. Let's go and then select our image. It should be the black one. So that is good. The next thing we're going to do is to add the text that we do see. So add a normal text element. So this is a P text. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it over here. Make sure that the bottom one is also removed. All right. So that is that for that. Um, let me select the section again. Go to layout. Make sure that everything is centered just like that. But as we don't want this one to be in the middle, here's one of the things, like this section to be centered. Let's click on the, the div that we added. We're gonna make everything centered in the div. That is good on this image. So over here, developers panel, let's see this image is 106 for the height. So image is selected, um, it's full over here and then go to Styling and over here for the height, we're going to do 106. But that is good. Now for this text, um, this text is 10 pixels. All right, so go back over here, go to Styling, Typography, and then let's look at presets. I already set up some presets. All right, um, I don't have that in presets, but let's choose 12. And then go to custom. I want to change this one to um, 300 because this is 300 when you check. Um, I can use, let's move away from developers panel and then use this extension to check for this. So as you can see, this one is a normal base 400, but I don't have 400, but I do have 300 for the font. And then the size is 10, 10 pixels. All right. Um, the last time that I did a video, someone asked why I am not using pixels or why I was using pixels and not um, a more responsive 
um, typography. So as you can see, I have moved it to RAMS. Um, when it comes to um, fluid typography or whatever they want to call it, um, there's a lot of chaos over there. RAMS can work for some time. You have to adjust it for, for some size, for some screen size and other stuff like that. But when it comes to fluid and other stuff, do as you please. But Pixel is not the ultimate answer when it comes to building a more fluid design. There are more things that you can use. You can use Clamp. You can use um, Cow. You can also use Ems. You can use Pixels if you want to use Pixels. So. But a more fluid one is definitely not Pixels. So. I'm just moving this to RAMs to make sure that you understand that Pixel is not the ultimate standard when it comes to font and typography. All right, so this um, this is that. So I'm gonna leave this over here. Let's, um, let's do Pixel and let's look for 10. So 10 Pixel to convert now this, this. So I'm just gonna copy that and then close this. I should have did this already before starting but yeah i think i have forgotten that okay so that is the first um dev let's open the structure panel so we have this dev in here let's add another dev for the bottom one all right so dev number two and then what i'm going to say is click on a section i want to make sure that this dev is at the top and then this dev is at the bottom to do that click on a section go to horizontal and then in here, you want to say that you want vertical to be starting at desktop. The reason why you need that is if you don't do that and you pick somewhere like um, landscape, and you come to vertical alignment, or you come to alignment and then you change this one to in between, it will put them side by side. And you don't really want that. We want this to be top and bottom. So click back on section. Back on layout horizontal, I'm going to change this one to desktop. As you can see, so now this is at the bottom. I want to make sure that things are centered like that beautifully. All right, cool. So the next thing we're going to do is to create this button. Okay, so to do this, we would need um. So I'm going to this uh, this cut over here is pretty tricky to do. If let's say we, we want to use something like um, Cliff Path. Cliff, cliff Path is, is nice to use, but what this thing is doing is it has a border and it's cutting through the borders rather than the normal cutting out of like, um, you, I'm gonna show you. Let's say this, um, this is our, this is our dev, right? Inside the dev, we're gonna put a text. I say text. All right, so there's a text in there, and that's our dev. Let's go to container background. There's no background, right? And then container, let's go to border, and then give this zero for the radius, border width of five, and then change the color of the border width to white, and then style solid. All right, that is good. Um, make sure we have a little bit of space and then the text that we have in here is order now. So I'll just type in order now. Good typography. The, the size over there, I believe, um, is it's a size of 12. So on here, the typography, go to preset. Make sure that I choose a 12. That is fine. Um, I want to go back here and go to the developers panel and then see the length of this um, 264 by 40. So back on this dev, we want to make sure that this, um, the container, the 264, and then the height is a 40. All right. And then we want everything to be centered inside. But that is good. Go back to the text. I'm gonna make sure that this is white. That is perfect like that. All right, so that is that. Um, so now let's look for click path. This. So let's say we want to create that, um, what they have over there. I'm gonna choose something like this, right? Bring this here, bring this here, 
bring this all the way down and then push this a little bit to the side, right? I'm gonna click here and remove that because we don't need it. So this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna copy the click path. And then go back to breakdance, select our dev. And then over here, we wanna to go to advanced and open the CSS panel. Let's type in the word selector. And then let's open that and then paste in our clip path. And then let's close it. And I'm just gonna do this and then save it. Um, so I'm going to click on this. Let's say go back over here. So the top has um okay, it has a margin of 213.76. So break dance, click on this div, margin 213.46. All right, it brought it down, and then go back and then hover on this. This one also has um does he have a margin? It should have one. All right, so 32 and then 24. All right, so 32, 24 is gonna give you what? So click on the second one, go back to Stalin. 32, 24 is gonna give you 70, 30, 32, 24, 76. So 76 for that, so let's save it. And then let's close all of that. So as you can see, you see how yeah, it's not cut properly, like how we have it on the Tesla website. See how here it's cut properly. This is not happening for this when you use just a cliff path on. I want to use the cliff path on just a normal dev like that. So I'm going to show you the proper way to achieve that by using uh, a little bit of um, code, uh, a little bit of cliff path that is not over here that I found online that I'm going to use. So back over here, I'm going to click back on the div, go to advanced and I'm going to clear what we have over here. So delete everything. Good. All right. So in here, what we want to do is that the, the div, this div, we are going to remove the, where is it? Remove the border. And then, yeah, and that should be good. So we're gonna remove the border and inside we're gonna add two more divs. So div number one, make sure that this div is 100%. All right, we can leave the height like that. You can also give a height of 100 and then just duplicate that. All right, good. So we're gonna say that the one, so this is on top right, go to the div, um, go to this div and then let's type in the word position. So after typing position, click on this cog icon over here to open the advanced panel. And let's make this absolute. Let me just delete that and then duplicate. Okay, let's make this absolute, right? And then let's go to container, border, make this a zero for radius. Change this one to five pixels. Um, also, you can also do like the, the whole conversion for the pixels if you want. Um, make sure that it is white and it's solid and that should be good. What I'm going to do is click on this div and then type in overflow. And then click on the cog icon and make sure overflow is hidden like that. Um, Click back on this. Make sure that we remove the minimum height. That should be okay. Coming back over here. Pixel for that, pixel for that. All right, so this is the white. The next thing I'm gonna do is duplicate this. And then let's change the, the border from white to a black. Oh, where's the color? Here's the color. Let's change this one to a black. All right, so this one should be behind that, and then the white should be on top. 
The reason why we're going to do that is when it comes to animating, you see how this, let me close the developers panel. When you hover on it, see how it's blinking. It blinks from white to black, white to black, white to black, and it, it goes on a solid white. All right. So to achieve that, that is why we are, we have this, um, these um, divs over here. Let me save this. And then let's preview this in the front end. All right. Okay. No problem. Um, make sure that let's go back to the cyber truck. All right. So let's make sure that this has an index. Click on a cog icon index of probably a five. So let it come forward. Um, I think there's a little issue when it comes to, okay, this is the width, this is the height. There's no border radius layout. Everything is done nicely. All right. So let's, um, let's click on this and then make sure position, right? Position. And then click on the cog icon. Make sure top is zero. And then the bottom is also zero like that. So that we can see the, um, the two top and bottom borders. Then also click on the cog icon. Make sure the top is zero. And then the bottom is also zero. All right, that is pretty good. So we have, uh, if I save this and I go here and I refresh, now you see the bottom is nicely laid like that. All right, the next thing to do is to find the, um, the code that we are going to use to create the slash that you have over there. So it's a code pen code that I found that we are going to use for ourselves. I already implemented it somewhere, so I'm just gonna copy the code. All right, so now I have um, copied the code. I'm going to leave the code down below if you want to also copy it and use it for your own testing purposes. So we are going to, we are not going to apply the code to this div, but rather to these two divs, because those are the ones that have the borders. Okay, so let's click on this div, go to certain, um, this cog icon, go to advance and open the selector. Let's paste in this. So that is the first one. And then we close that. We go on the second dev, go to advance, open the selector, and then paste in that. All right, so as you can see, we have this cutout over here. It looks like the first one that we did. So what we are doing that is wrong is by using the border. So I'm going to click back on uh, this div, right? Go over here to um, the styling panel, remove the border, right? Click on this one too, remove that border, and then click back on the top one. And then let's make this, let's say blue, right? Now also make this one. Um, let's say red. All right, so now let's save this and then refresh on that. So as you can see, when you use the butter and then use the code that I gave that I found on code pen, you can see that um, it doesn't create the look that you that you need. But when you use a full colored div and you applied the code on it, it creates the nice cut off for you. So what I'm gonna do is just fix the color. The red should be white. And this one should be a black. And that is that. So let's refresh this again. Nice. So now we have um, our hero section fully done and we've also created the first part of this, um, this button. What we are going to do is to finish the entire design that we have from the Cybertruck. After that, I'm going to show you how to animate this button to make it also flicker when you hover on it, like how Tesla has it. So let's go through the rest of the sections. All right, so this section is fully done. Uh, next section. All right, so in here, make sure the section is selected. I'm gonna remove the 
or the pattern that they have on it and that is good um back over here we have an image and then we have this text so let's add an image element all right so let's copy this image uh open a new tab i'm just going to copy the image like that looks like i didn't download this yet so copy that image go to breakdance go to url and then insert the url over here all right so that's the first one the next then is to add this text over here but what we are going to do rather is to put this text in a div so make sure uh, you click on add and then add a div. All right. So in the div, we're going to add two things, um, a header text and then a rich text. All right. So the header text should be H2. Then over here on typography, I believe that is 24. So 24 pixels, but this is in RAMs. See, okay, there's 1.5 RAMs just like that. Um, and then the next then is the text that they do have over here, which is this. So I'm just going to copy this, come over here and then click on the rich text, open the panel, delete everything that we have over here and then paste this. All right. Make sure that our typography, um, is colored, right? So that is white, um, on here. I think this is a 14, so I'm going to choose 14 for that. Uh, let me just make sure. All right, it's a 14 and 400 for that. All right, so 14, um, come over here. You can go to custom to make any changes that you want. I'm going to change this one to 300 like that and then save it. But before I even do that, let me go back. Uh, and make some changes over here on my global settings font. Go to preset and the 14. I'm gonna change this on 700 to 300 and then just save that. Close this panel that to be reflect. I don't have to do this all the time, all right? So that is good. The, the next thing that we're going to do is to change this text to what it is exoskeleton. So let's put in exoskeleton. So that is nice for exoskeleton. Um, now let's look for the, the width of this. This looks like 840 pixels. So I'm gonna go back to breakdance, click on our dev, go to container, width is 840. Then click on the section again, go to layout, center everything over here. And then in the section, I want to give it a space. The space between this and that is six, is 16 pixels, but let's make it 20 for more consistency. That's 20. And then the spacing between this and that is also 32 pixels. So we're going to click on this and then in the, click on the section in the space and center. I want to change this one to 32 pixels for the top border. Sorry, the top margin. So that is good for the first one. Let's refresh. So we refresh this, we have that, we have that, just like what they have here in the Tesla website. All right, the next thing is this image. So what I'm going to do, move away from this developers panel, open this in a new tab, and I'm gonna copy the link. Go to breakdance. We can just duplicate this section to duplicate a section. Click on the image, choose, and then the image I want to insert it from a URL. So insert it from there. We have the text. What we have here next is something a bit more different. Let me close that. All right. So over here we have um, the text side by side. To do that, we are going to, we have a dev here. Make sure that we select the div and then remove the container. All right, so in that, go back to my text. So in here, we want to make everything side by side in this div. So click on this div, and then 
go to layout, make sure that things are horizontal, space in between, and then over here, you want it to be centered in the middle. The reason why we are not seeing any changes is because these things are pretty long. All right, I'm going to go back to the Tesla site and copy this text, and then paste it here, go like that. All right, the size for this is pretty much a 14. So I'm gonna to go to typography, go to preset, change this one to 14. And then as you can see, um, it's not a full, uh, it's not a full width 10. So we're gonna break it around the row, row stainless steel. All right, let's, let's go to, let's go over here and search for width. And then click on the cog icon. And then we wanna change this width. Let's make this into percentage, percentage, and then make this, let's say 25%. Let's go about Tesla. It seems that is what it needs to be, but I'm just gonna close this a little. All right, so that is good for that. Um, so we have this at 22%. So let's click on this one too, and then type in the word width. And this width, we wanna change this one to so 22 minus 100, I believe is 78. But let's give this one, let's say 78. All right, so 78. Mm, I don't know why this is trying to do that, but let's click on this. Go to container. I'm going to change this one to 100. Or percentage, and I make this 100%. All right, cool. Click on here. And then click on modify because we already modified it. Change this one to um, from pixels to percentage. All right, so that is nicely done, but we need some space in between. So what I'm going to do is go back here. And so, so it breaks at smooth. All right, so where's smooth? Where's smooth? I need to change the text. That is what I need to do. So let's copy this text. Text copied, go to breakdowns. And then I need to paste this text over here and close it. All right, so this needs to break out smooth. So now let's start going down and then make sure that, uh, okay, and then maximum that. All right, so it looks like this is what we need, but I'm gonna go this one, that is bad. All right, consider this one is in the middle. Let me select the, um, the div. And then in that dev, I want to make sure that on the horizontal, instead of having this at the middle, put it at the top. All right, so that is good for um, that section. Let's go down, this is the next section that we have. So I'm just going to open this in a new tab, copy the link, then close it, go to breakdowns, and then duplicate this. Click on this image, go to choose, go to insect from URL, paste this in there insect into the post, right there like that. All right, let's change the text. So this text, put it over here, so that is good. And then, let me see, this small. All right, and then let's also copy this text and then bring it back here, click there. Make sure you click on that, open this and paste. All right, that is good. Uh, make sure that things look right. All right, perfect. Okay, so that is that for that section. Probably we might need to fix the, the spacing. So let's open developers panel, click on that and let's see the spacing between here. The spacing is, hmm, is 32. No, it's 64. So I'm just gonna go back in here. Um, click on this, click on spacing, and change this one to 64. Click on that to spacing, change this one to 64. All right, and that is good. All right, so we've done um, three more sections. I think we've done this one too. The next thing that we're going to do is what they have over here. Building this is going to be a bit of work. Um, as you can see, when you click on this, this also changes. To do this is going to take too much work, but I'm going to be able to create this in no time 
and then we're also going to make this and then we're going to also make sure this is aligned properly like that but we're also going to do a slider for this too so let's get into creating that slider all right so over here let's say um is the spacing also cool all right i'm just going to add a new section rather than duplicating one so new section go to developers panel and then let's see the space yeah all right this has a 64 and this has a 56 and that should give you um 120 for the spacing all right click on that go to spacing tap here 120 pixels all right um uh, make sure that the the this is fully that there's no space in there we can apply spacing later and then in here what we need is a slider so i click on add and type in slide we need just a normal basic slider so normal basic slider and then let's remove everything here and then we're going to start adding our own ones so we need to add our pictures so which picture is number one let's move away from developers panel and then see which one is number one all right so this is number one and that is number two all right cool click on this slider let's click on the section first and then the side we want to make sure that this is on the width is a full width and that is good let's open the structure panel and click on the basic slider and here let's add an image first and see what is happening the first image is this shoes all right so it covers the whole width um yeah we don't really have to do anything else we don't have a text or anything so we're not, we're not going to add a text so this is done the next then do we duplicate this and add oh, the same thing go here and then choose the one that closes all right now let's make sure that we can see um the full thing so on here for the height let's say viewport Is this on viewport? All right, it, it is on viewport. So for the slider, let's go to settings. Then let's look for size. So it has already a defined size, which we're going to remove. And then over here, let's say also viewport. But is this on viewport on the Tesla website? It is not. It looks more like um 80% viewport. So what I'm going to do is to, instead of doing viewport, I'm going to do custom, change this one to VH and make this one more like 80%. Yeah, it looks right. So that should be good for the, the height. On the section two, I'm going to remove the this viewport and make this fit content. All right, so that, that should be good. Um, yeah, back to the basic slider. Let's keep adding more images to so duplicate that. The next image is going to be the trailer. And after the trailer, the moto. All right, so over here, let's choose the trailer. Just this. Then duplicate. Choose the one that has the moto on it. Then what is the last two? The last two is the car inside and then the outside camping one. All right, so in here, duplicate that. Um, so the inside of the car, we have that. And then the campaign, we have that one too. All right, so we have all our images added. Let me refresh, and see how we are doing. All right, that is pretty cool. And then we have the, the selectors over here. All right, but you can see that this is fading rather than when you click. It is fading rather than doing the, the whole thing. So in here, we're going to try and then fix the fading and also bring down these things. Okay, let's go to styling. For the styling, what we're going to do, let's make sure that we change this one to 100%. That is good. All right, so let's, we're going to remove the arrows. We don't need arrows, so disable arrows. That is good. And then the pagination, instead of bullet, yeah, we can do a bullet. And then for the bullet, you're going to say that the radius should be 
Is that a so it's more like a box? Do you see the box? All right, cool. Um, uh, back over here, margin. So the margin for the top, we're gonna bring this one all the way down. So let's make it, let's say 120. It's negative 120. That's pretty bad. Um, back over here, let's choose this one to be white. Cool. Let's see what is the, the space in between this and that. Go to the developers panel. Over here is 72 pixels. All right, cool. Let's go in here, click on, that is a margin. Okay, 72 is not that big. All right, I think 86 is probably close to what they have for what they have between this and that. Yeah, probably yes. So I think that should work. All right, so that is that is what we're gonna do. Let's make this this um the size for this bulletin should be more like a 12. Okay, that is good. You can also change this one to RAMs if you want. Yeah, um yeah. The space in between, let's see. We're gonna get more technical. Pattern is four. So space in between is probably a four, four pixels. I'm gonna make this one probably 10. Give me more space. So pixels probably probably eight. All right, so that that is good for that. So I'm gonna click on the slide to the next. The next thing that we're gonna do is to make sure that our slider is fading. So when you click here, when you click here. All right, so there's the normal fade. All right, so that that is good for now. Let's refresh this and see how it looks in the front. All right, go to Tesla. Uh, move away from developers panel. Yeah, goes like that. Uh, pretty good. All right, the next thing that we need to do is to have our text over here. So that is what we are going to do next. So let's take a text. I'm going to add a div. Since this one is full width, the text is not full width, so I'm going to add a div in here. Click on that and click on add. Let's add a div. All right, consider the div as um, full width and it's already covering the top like that. We don't really want that. So in here, what I am going to do is to make sure that I click on a section, go to layout, make everything centered. That is cool. Click on the div and give it some nice margin at the top. Let's make this like 120. The space between this and this, how far is it? It's not that far. 120 is probably not that. About, about 100. Let's say one, 110. 110 is good. All right, let's put our text inside. So I'll go back to Tesla. All right, so in here we have um, a normal text. So let's go back and then in here, let's add a text. So a header text. And then let's change this one to H2. Let's add this. I believe that is, uh, let's find the size of this. That's a 20. Do we have a 20 in here? All right, so let's go to typography, go to preset. We don't have a 20. Wow, I really didn't add a lot. I thought I had added more. Um, yeah, so let's choose 24, right? Go over here and then um, change this one to 500. And then I think a 20 should be 1.2. All right, that should be 24 rooms. And then in here, we can go back here. I just want to check the, the line height and that should be good. Line height is also 20 pixels. All right, so for this, we want to change this one line height to 20 pixels, so 1.25. All right, so that should be good for that. And the next thing that we're going to do is to add a slider text like they have in here. Okay, so go here and then put in a slide. 
basic slider and see it is taking forward. When you click on here, go to the Tesla and then open developers panel. And here, I want to make sure that we do have the right, so 660. So I'm going to click the div is selected, go to container with 660. So I click back on the slider, remove everything that they have here. The only thing that we're going to add are text. So some do have headers, some do not have headers. All right, so the first one doesn't have a header. I'm going to copy that, come in here, and then for the text, just add that and make sure that everything is cleaned up. All right, make sure that our text do have the right, um, there's a slider, we have typography here. Okay, normal text has white typography. I believe this is a 14. So let's choose 14 for that. All right, so we have added our text. So this is our text. It has like a whole long, uh, um, the size, we just wanna make sure that size uh, fits content. All right, um, go back to typography, click on text, make sure it's on the left hand side. Um, that uh, That is a good way forward. Okay, we can just leave it on the presets. Just choose the 14 is good. Leave that over there. Um, the size, all right, custom, remove that, um, slider. I think some do have like some pattern on it. That's what I'm trying to remove. You can see there's a pattern at the top and the bottom. Um, let's look for arrows. We don't need arrows. We don't really need, um, this one too. Okay, for fraction, we don't need, we are not using a fraction, so that is good. Let's go to the slide. Pattern zero everywhere. All right, so we have removed the pattern from the text. Uh, we need a bit of space between this. So I'm gonna click on that and go to Tesla. Then let's see what is the, the spacing. And then click on here. I just want to see the spacing. So it has 16. A 16. Okay, so 16, 16 will be a 32. So we click the div and then we're gonna give the div a gap of 32. All right, that is good. Now, if let's say we do have a title, so let's go back and click on a slider. If we do have a title, are we able to do that from here? Not really spacing. All right, so after the title, we want also uh, 32 pixel, if there is, after the title and after the text, we want a 14 pixel below it. All right, that is good. So now let's keep adding the more sliders to this with the text. So add another slider, or we can just duplicate this. And in here, we want to have, let me move away and develop this panel. Click on the second one. Okay, this one has, a subtitle. All right, so in here, I'm just going to paste everything, grab that, and then come here and then paste it over there. All right, so that should be good. The next thing that we're going to do is to go for the next one, which is this. So duplicate, open that. All right, in here, I'm gonna paste this one over there. That is good. The next then is to go to, which one is that? The third one, right? So let's go to the fourth one. Take the text. No background. Let's duplicate that, remove this. All right, in here, paste, cut. Um, the fifth one, um, also paste that one over here, duplicate that. And then the last, but not the least, 
Let's copy that. Come in here. Paste this. Cut. And then over here, I want to paste that. And yep. We should be good. All right, let's go back to the front end and then just refresh this. All right, so what is happening is you can see that there's a huge space between here because this doesn't have a title. So it's costing like um, a huge space between that. All right, so this is the title. We need to fix the title size. Go back here, go to style. And then for the title, go to presets. Make this, um, what is the size? I think the size is the same. So make this a 14 and then save that. And then go back over here and then refresh this. So if you go in here, make sure that the title is also aligned to the left. Save that, the front. So let's scroll. All right, so this is good for that. What I am going to do next is to make sure, is this that, is that, do we have that much space? No, no, really. All right, cool. So click on this, go to space, and I'm gonna remove these space and, and see what happens. Then let's refresh this. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, yeah, I think this, this looks much better than what we had. All right, um, let's say, click on the dev. The space looks much bigger than it should be. Let's make this 16 and save that. Go to the front end and then just refresh. See how this is gonna look like. Yeah, I think this one is more appropriate. All right, so that is good. What I'm gonna do next is to make sure that this one, these things are sliding automatically. So go to the slide. Um, all right, not here, the slider, the settings, make sure that this scroll, the front end, infinite, um, also on the front end, autoplay, all right, advanced, is there anything, swipe on the scroll, auto height, you can do also auto height, enable that. They come here too, go to slider, go to settings, you want to make this one fade, Make this one infinite in the front end, always in the front end, and then advance, um, auto high two for that. All right, so as you can see now, this is closed for the guy. If the um, if the title is not there, it's not gonna make it look that huge. All right, so. All right, nicely like that. Okay, that is good. Then last, we have, uh, what, two more sections to go. I think we are already um, getting close to an hour doing this. So two more sections, and then we should be able to finish. All right, so so for this, we're gonna have an, um, a link. Let me copy, what's the link? There should be a link to this. I'll open a new tab, and then just copy the link. All right, so over here on the on our section, Close that. So what I'm going to do is to duplicate one section, which is this, duplicate, close that, and then close this, and then bring this one down. Okay, in here, I'm gonna click on here and then go to add, and then look for video. For the video, remove everything here, and then paste the link that we just got from Tesla. Um, leave everything here just like that. Options, you want to autoplay, you want to show control, loop, and then mute. All right, and then save that. Let's remove um, this image. Save this. Go to the front end and refresh. Yeah, nicely like that. Now let's fix the text. So this is the text. That's text. Um, click on that. Paste this. This should be a 24. So over here, let's do 24 like that. This is a 24, right? Just gonna let's make sure it's this one is 24. Alright, that is 24. 
Then the next then is copy this text. So text, paste it. All right, so that is a text and okay, this one stops at powerful. All right, so what I'm going to do is to click on this one, this very one, click on modify, then bring it down one more. That should be good. And then click on this one too, modify. And also take it up a little and that should be good. And then we just save it. Yep, that is pretty good for that. The last but not the least is what they have over here. This um, full height, then let's collapse this. Add a new section. So a new section is added. And then make sure that the height for this is custom. And I'm gonna change this one to VH. Make it 100. Go to the spacing the zero. Apply to everywhere. All right, cool. Then in here we need to have. All right, so this this tool have to be in a dev, and then this one has to be by itself. All right, so let's add a dev. So one dev in here. Go to the section. Make sure that everything is centered. Then let's add an image. So one image. And then back to the section, go to the layout. Let me remove that. And remove this. And then over here, assign um, center and then vertical middle. All right, I'm just gonna leave the rest like that. Over here, we're gonna have an image and the button that we created from the top. So this button. I'm going to duplicate and move it in here like that. And then over here, I'm going to duplicate the image and put one in here too. All right, cool. I click on this image. We need the white one, so white selected. Go back to Cybertrack, open developers panel. And then make sure we see the height for this. This has a height of 80 and a pattern of 16. All right, so I'm going to make a pattern of 20. So a height, go in here, look for image, height of 16, also a height of 80. Is it 80? Yes, a height of 80. But that looks kind of small on ours. Hmm. All right, let's make this 120. And let's read. Shuffle that. Yeah, this one needs to be a bit bigger. You know why? This is kind of small. Let's do 468. 4, Let's do that. So click here, change. Oh, of course I'm doing width instead of height. So this should be 80 like that. My fault. Um, Back to the cyber track. This one is 204. So I'm going to click here. Click on the, this, Um, you open the dev. This div should be 204, 204, that is good. And then image, we need the black, probably like that. All right, so as you can see, this one is causing this to come down because this image is kind of big. So what we're gonna do is go back here, or we can just start playing around, but this is 444.34. So click image, go to styling, over here um, for the height, 444.34, and that should be good. I'm gonna give this um, a section gap of, what is the gap between this and that? So the gap here is, um, hmm. it's, it looks a bit tricky. But the gap is more like 37. I'm just gonna put a 30 here. Let's do 37. Not that big, but I think the gap is, is much bigger than what we do see. Uh, click back on the section, go over here. Instead of doing middle, center, let's do space in between. And then I'm just gonna remove the gap. We don't really need a gap if we do space in between because 
it does it for you. All right, so it looks like we have come to a gracious, let me click on this div, go to layout and make this 20 pixel like that and save it. So let's refresh this and then let's scroll all the way to the top. So this is what we have nicely built with breakdance website builder that comes if you use WordPress. So if you use WordPress and you're looking for something, um, a tool to build responsive, clean design that is also really fast. This is um, a nice place to start. All right, so we have fully um, built this. What I'm going to do is to show you how to create what we have, the Flickr, the Flickr thing that you have over here. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then that should conclude for today. All right, so what I'm going to do is go back to um, our back end, make sure that we do have, let me go back to the bottom, and then I'm just gonna give this some classes. All right, so let's call this one Cyber C Y P U T T for the, the main container. Then text, well, you want to give it um, C Y T X T for the text. Then for this one, I'm going to call this um, C Y. White, so mean that the CYB white, and then we're gonna call this one. Oh, that was wrong, but that should this is the white. So let's go in here, let me choose that, and then go here, remove that, and let's give this one CYB B4 black. All right, so let's save that. So we've given this the classes that we want. The next thing that we're going to do is to use, we're going to use um, a plugin called Motion Page. So we're going to use Motion Page to create what we saw with the Flickr. So let's go back to the back end. So I haven't installed Motion Page yet, but I'm going to install it and I'm going to use it. So let me install that and I'll be back. So Motion Page has been installed and this is it. I'm just going to open it. And then let's create our animation. If you want to use motion page, um, probably I'm going to leave um, the link to the uh, website down below. But if you want to see how to start with motion page, this is not going to be um, a tutorial on how to use motion page or some of the, the tools in here. Um, you might have to watch some of the beginner videos on how to use it, and then you can come back to learning this. All right, so in here we've created a timeline. So in this timeline, let's call it cyber truck. All right, so there's an interaction. That is, it's an interaction because when you hover, we want the animation to work. So let's click on interaction. And then we want it to be a hover. All right, so what are we going to use to trigger the whole flicker? We're going to use the that CY um, B U T T. All right, so as you can see, it's something that that is what you have highlighted that anytime you have on this, you want something to happen. Okay, so what do we want to happen when we highlight on that? What we want to really happen is we want the, the white to go to zero, the black to show, the white to go to zero, the black to show, the white to go to zero, the black to show. And that's the flicker that we're going to do. Uh, probably going to do that probably six times or whatever time that we think is appropriate. Let me scroll this up. All right, so in here, we're going to make this 0 0.1. All right, so this is selected. And then in here, let's see the white. Let's call the white. So C Y B W for the white. And I click on enter. So that we selected the white. All right, the next one that we're going to do, we're going to say that, okay, we want this to go to opacity of zero. And let me save that. That is good. And then I'm just going to click and duplicate. Put this one over here. And then this one, we're going to make this one instead of the, um, this. All right, let's just duplicate this six times. 
duplicate and then duplicate and then duplicate one two three four five six okay so this can go here this can go here and then this can go here and then this one can also go here all right that is good so as you can see it just went off so this one the next one should be the black. So let's click on this C Y B B. And then the next one should be a white. The next one should be a black. So this one should be dot C Y B B. And then also click on that. The last one. Um, move this and say c dot dot c y b b. All right, let's save that. Save. Um. All right, it's your flicker. Let's play this. It's your flicker from one to zero, one to zero. All right, so over here, let's click. On this particular one, go to remove that and then start from. Now let's not remove that. Make sure that this one is on a zero. And then this one should come from a one. And then this one too should be from a one. To a zero. I'm going to save that and then refresh, refresh and see what we have here. All right, so we are not achieving the, what we say we're going to achieve, but let's make sure this is a white. It goes to a black. So this one should come from a one. So let's remove that. Let's see. All right, so over here, the next one should be a white. Let's say it comes from a one. And then let's select that one to say it comes from a one. And this one and see what is gonna happen. Refresh that in the front. All right, that is good. All right, so the last but not the least is to make sure that when it gets over here, when it gets all the way to this side, we're gonna add another node to the end of that. Make sure that this one, so this one is going to highlight. So white to black. Like that. All right, so this one is going to highlight the, make sure that our text, so we're going to say that, that C Y B U T T. We're selecting that, and then the text is that C Y T X T, selecting that too. All right, so we will say that text color should be black, And then, oh sorry, so instead of from, we want to make sure it's to the two. All right, so to the two, we want to say that text color should be a black. And then we want to make sure that background, probably might have to duplicate this. The background should also be a full white. I save. So if you go through here, perfect. All right, let's refresh this in the front. Like that. All right, so let's go to Cybertruck. Then, yeah.
very close, very close. All right, let's go. We think uh, there's one more at the bottom that we need to do. So let's edit this again. And I'm just going to click on that. Open the developers panel, sorry, the structure panel. Duplicate that. So the last one, which is this, I'm going to take this and then bring it all the way here and then remove this one. And then this we can do, give it the, the whole container of 204 and then just save that. Let's click to the front end. All right, and then you go here to, all right, so that is how you achieve the sort of thing that they have over here with the Flickr. The next thing that we're going to do is to just do this entrance animation and we should call this, um, we should finally do finish what we want here. We're not gonna use this to do that. We can use this, but we are not going to use motion page to create that. What we're going to use is the normal animation engine that comes with breakdance. All right, so over here, this image should scroll up. So we can go to animation, entrance animation, and then say slide up. And then also click on this. Go to animation and then also do a slide up. And let's save that. Let's preview this in the front end. All right, so we're just going to give it a little bit more of um, not a delay because I don't think there's any delay when it comes to this. Just rolls in nicely like that. It looks small, kind of nice when it comes to the scrolling and the the ease. Let's do a linear. Okay, we don't really want that. What about power in? That is too hard. Mm, most of this is elastic. It's going to bounce. You don't really want that. Yeah, those are too like too harsh when it comes to expo out power in. All right, I want to do power in, and then let's say you change this one to um duration is let's say a thousand. Let's do 500. Let's do 750. So let's go here and then change this one to advance, easy. Let's do linear, right? And then let's change this one to the is 750. All right, I think linear is a better one. All right, so animation, advance, do linear, 750 for that. Let's save it, go to the front, refresh. That is good. That's perfect. All right. So we just want to duplicate that for everything that we do have here. So animation, entrance, we're going to do slide up. I'm going to make this on 750. But even if you don't put this one on linear, I believe even feels much better. Yeah. So I'm going to remove the, the whole linear thing out of the way. Remove the advance. Go here, entrance, advance, perfect. All right, so let's click on that. Go to here and look for entrance animation. So slide up 750 and that should be good. Click on this one too, animation, entrance animation, slide up, do 750. Um, yeah, that should be good, no delay. Click on this one to go to animation, entrance animation, slide up, duration, 750. All right, that, I don't think these ones have animation, but I think this do have one.
All right, so that one also has an animation. Let me close that. So selected that, go to advanced animation, entrance animation, um, slide up, do 750. And that should be good. And the last but not the least, this also has an animation on it. Make sure we selected the right one. All right, cool. Go in here, do um, entrance animation, slide up, do 750. And that should be, make it a bit more smooth. And then let's refresh, go to the top. Nicely like that. That's pretty nice. All right, let's make this mobile landscape like that. So this is what it looks like. And this is what the image looks like. Okay, so image is all the way at the top. All right, so let's push this. Instead of having that big space at the top, let's see how much space they want to put at the top, 124.9. So let's collapse everything and click on this dev. Make sure that the space is 130 the top. And then text here, you break it at more. So I'll click on here, click on this text, go to size, and then let's start breaking this from this side. All right, so that is more. I'm just going to click on the div and give it a bit of breathing space. 20 pixels like that. All right, that is good. And this can be at the bottom, right? Yeah, it's at the bottom like that. How is also at the bottom? This one looks like a full width. So I'm just gonna click on that container. I'm gonna change this one to percentage and make this into 80%. All right. So that is a fast mobile responsiveness when it comes to that. So this, yeah, so this is what you're gonna get. As I said, there is more to this. I don't think it's hard to do mobile. Let's try and get this mobile thing done as fast as possible. All right, so this is this, go down. Let me disable, open that, disable this. So this one have pattern all around it. So there is a pattern of 4824. Where's the pattern? I want to see where the pattern is. All right, so that's a, okay, so 24 on each side. All right, so let's select this div. And then in the dev, we want to make sure that in the advanced settings um, on pattern, we do 24. 24. All right, so that is good. You can just come back into this and also change this one. Also from here, you go back here and give this one a 24. Also a 24. Um, over here to Go container, big 24, and then 24. I'm going to face the text later on. So go here, container, and this one to 24, 24. Last but not the least, make this one also into a um, container, 24, 24. All right. And for this, let's see what is happening there. Is centered. All right, so let's click on this container, make sure it's 100%. Then everything in here is centered like that. Click on this, make, I'm gonna change this one to 80%. All right, wrong then, I'll select it. Click on the div. In here, I wanna change it on the percentage, give this one 80%. Right, All right, that is cool. And then you can see that this is on here. So let's click on this and make sure that this is not, I don't think this is full width. So let's go to size, height. 
um let's do fit content no let's do custom and let's say if we select this this looks like um three uh let's do 370 height 370 this one also has what is the what is causing this height? Minimum height for this is not working. Do we have spacing? Let's do modify. All right, I don't see where the issue is is with this particular one. Hmm. All right. I'm going to leave this like that. I'm not going to touch this. Uh, let's leave that like that. Um, let's give this some breathing space. Let's say top. Let's give this one a 64. Bring it down a little. I don't know why this is doing that for the image. Um, all right. So. I think this is that and also we can move this but well, this is a bit pixelated it's not given um let's see what is here okay 377 by 188 377 by 188 let's do that 377 by 188 um, let's click on the section, the layout, and everything to be centered like that. All right, so I'm just going to leave this like that. Let me click. Yeah, I think I know where this is coming from. It should be zero. Probably even then, it should probably be um, 32. Give it a bit of space like that and save that. All right, so in uh, here, we want to go um to the section click the okay click on here and go to layout you want to make sure it's vertical on mobile uh, go to cyber track yeah, vertical on mobile make sure that you select on this click on modify the width should be a hundred percent on mobile this one also the width the width for this should be 100% for mobile and the space in between should probably be a 20 pixel. Okay, so that is good. Mm, over here to when I click on container, make sure that the horizontal, the vertical stats on landscape, this one should have I think uh, the best thing that I should have done is to make sure that I made one that was fully responsive and just duplicated. That would have been a better choice than what I'm doing now because this is not efficient when it comes to working. Um, go to modify, change this one to percentage, do 100%. Um, over here to then the last but not the least click on that make the this one 20 pixel space all right click on here what i'm going to do go to layout 20 pixel space make sure that this one is starting on landscape click on this click on modify change the width to percentage make this 100 percent click on this one to click on modify change this one to 100 percent and that should be all right let me click on this go in here make this into that and yeah fully done that is pretty nice all right so we have the the mobile and everything fully figured out and our cyber track website is done let's refresh this
right? That is pretty nice. And this is what Tesla themselves, they also have, let's go all the way up. That is pretty nice. Okay, so with um, Breakdance Website Builder for WordPress, you are in a place where you can build at least anything that you want. So anything that you can definitely imagine, if you put in the work, you should be able to produce what you want to produce without having to really worry about um, a lot of things. Um, I hope this was um, a good a good tutorial and you enjoyed that. If you haven't joined our Facebook group, please click on the join the community link that I have below. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. We've reached 500 subscribers um, this week and I'm really excited about that. So if you haven't joined the community also on YouTube, please click on the subscribe button and also give this a thumbs up if you do like what we are doing on this channel. As usual, my name is Nyakon. This is Obi Studios.